Oh hi, it's Peter here. Today I'm going to be uh, teaching you about the history of Babington. Sorry about my hair, and um, the barbers are still closed here in England. Well, let's... I need to get a haircut. I do, I do need a haircut. I do need badly need a haircut, but it's going to, it's going to happen. Can't gonna you happen. Get... Today, badminton is a popular game played around the world. Initially, it was common to play in um, Britain and Denmark. Nowadays, it's very popular in a lot of Asian countries. Going back 2,000 years ago, the children's game of battledore and shuttlecock was played in ancient Greece, China, and India. There's a similar game in Japan called Hanatsuki. Am I saying that right, Hanatsuki? Yeah. No, God! The modern game of badminton uh, evolved from this and first started out in India when there was British rule. In the Indian city of um, Pune in Maharashtra, the British military officers stationed out there added a net to the game of Battlestar and Shuttlecock and called it the Pune game. When these officers returned to Britain in 1873, they presented the game to the Duke of Beaufort at Babington House in Gloucestershire, hence where the name of Babington comes from. The game grew from there. The very first uh, tournament was held in um, Guildford in Surrey in 1898, and the first All England Babington Championship was held in 1899. The IBF, otherwise known as the International Babington Federation, was formed in 1934 by nine founding member countries. The BWF, otherwise known as the Babington World Federation, was formed in 1978. It was formed as a result of not being happy with some of the IBF's policies. However, in 1981, once matters were resolved, the BWF folded and it merged with the IBF. In September 2006, the IBF changed its name uh, to the Balance and Wealth Federation, the BWF. As of 2020, it now has 194 member nations. Across the decades, there have been many Bounton tournaments organised. There was the Thomas Cup, in 1948, which was the first major tournament organised by the uh, IBF. Following this, there have been many badminton tournaments organised, such as the Uber Cup, the Sudderman Cup, the World Junior Championships, the World Championships, and the World Grand Prix Finals. Para badminton was introduced for badminton players with various physical disabilities. The first Para badminton Championship tournament was held in the Netherlands in 1998. Badminton did not become an Olympic sport until uh, 1992. Badminton was demonstrated to be an Olympic sport in um, 1972 in Munich and then in Seoul in 1988. At the Seoul Olympics in uh, 1988, uh, players from eight associations demonstrated about badminton becoming an Olympic sport. After these two demonstrations and the uh, IBF and WF putting aside their differences, did badminton become an Olympic sport in um, 1992 in Barcelona? In Barcelona, singles and level double matches were played. In the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, the mixed doubles game was introduced, and badminton was one of those few Olympic sports where men and women compete together. 2012 London Olympics saw the introduction of group stages followed by a, a knockout stage in the competition. Badminton saw one of its darkest days when eight doubles players were disqualified for throwing their matches so they could manipulate their seeding for the following knockout round. To deal with this, at the Olympics in Rio in 2016, draws were introduced so that players could stop anticipating who their opponent would be in the next round. The 2020 Summer Paralympics included para badminton in its programme. However, due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the Olympics were postponed in the Olympics, China's done consistently well, winning 41 medals in total. South Korea and Indonesia follow behind with 19 medals each. The badminton have changed since the game was first played. The tournaments in 1890 followed rules published by the Badminton Association of England. In 2002, the BWF experimented by changing the match format to five games of seven points each. This was quickly scrapped the same year as games were still slow. The original rules were a side-out scoring system where players could only score on points on the serve. Games went up to 15 points. 
In August 2006, the rally scoring system was officially introduced. We're all familiar with this. A player scores a point regardless of who's serving. Another major change to the game was the change in service height. Before 2018, you had to serve below your lowest rib or below waist height. The new rule states that the shuttle needs to be below 1.15 meters when served. Even though this rule was accepted by most players, a couple of taller players such as Mads Peeler Colding and Victor Axelsen disagreed with it saying that it penalised them. Being a fast paced game, badminton is very enjoyable to watch as well as play. The best part of badminton is that you don't have to be amazing at it to play it. With its fascinating history and steady growth, badminton has become a very popular sport in a lot of countries.